all young boys who were recruited as child soldiers, as long as we can commute or tabulate the ages and find out they were child, child soldiers, we have a policy that will grant gen general amnesty to all child soldiers. And then we will be recommending them for rehabilitation. Because you're talking about, you're speaking about more than 25,000 to 50,000 of Liberia's children. Uh, we, we don't have anywhere to lock them up. Um, so I, we think the best thing for the country is to make sure that they have quick and easy access to rehabilitative um, services so that they can quickly be reintegrated into the um, yeah, greater community. Um, I hope I answered your question. Did you know more? <laughs> Okay, she yeah. You asked a, she asked you asked a question earlier about it's similar, it was, it was similar, similar. There were some similarities with Nessa there, so I'm unhappy with that. Okay, but well, let me cool. just add uh, because I I was making notes when you were speaking. Fine. Usually, uh, usually truth commissions are transitional justice mm -hmm. mechanisms that are introduced to countries such as Liberia coming from war. Um, the thing is to find the best options uh, in the transitional period, whether war crimes court or criminals court immediately following the end of war or a truth commission that will address, for example, the root causes of, of the conflict, look at violations of human rights, uh, rewrite the history of the country, and then also make recommendations for reparation for victims and recommendations for institutional reform. Um, I've been sitting here you know, almost crying about the level of corruption that has brought our country down. That is something that the Commission, the Truth Commission, feels very, very strongly about. Actually, we, we are seriously convinced that the root causes of our problem has been corruption and um, economic crimes through different forms, whether alienation of, of, of other groups of, of Liberians, suppression of the rights of other groups of Liberians, which led to disgruntlement and, and eventually the coup and then the civil war, whether the, the abuse of, of the rights of women, for example, women couldn't vote in Liberia. Women were just granted suffrage to vote in the late 1940s. All this time, women weren't allowed to vote. They were treated like second-class citizens. And there were even laws on the books that stated that women were the properties of their husbands, like the furniture. You know, if, if their husband died, especially traditionally, the woman was passed on to the brother of the husband or so, so that the property remains in the family. So all of these discriminatory laws that sort of held people down, we feel were all part of, of what caused the conflict. Thanks again to Martha and to Sheila. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I just want to say a big thank you to all of you for coming. I want to thank Massa Washington for making time to come. Massa was so busy, she left a conference, uh, a meeting of um, commissioners on Saturday, uh, on Friday, and unfortunately got stuck um, on the way because there was an accident, and so she missed her flight and couldn't come, and we were panicking here on Saturday morning. Um, but fortunately, she was able to get another flight and she arrived this morning and went through different rigors of the day and she was still up here with us to present her, make her presentation. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Also, I want to say a big thank you to Sheila for this brilliant exposure of the taxation things and I must say I look forward to reading that presentation because it's given me a few ideas. Um, I'm not sure in which direction yet, but <laughs> you know, um, you did mention something which I thought, well, can we as a charity do the same? Well, <laughs> But I mean, I, um, it, it was an eye opener, and um, I must say, um, I, we, the Africa Center really appreciates your presence and your presentation. Obviously, it took you a lot of time to put this together, and we really appreciate you. Thank you.
I'd like to say a big thank you to Maria for making time to come. Um, when I started working in the Africa Center, Maria was one of the people I met in Trocra. She was the first, actually, um, staff of Trocra I met, and um, I've always known her to be a very brilliant and very um, nice person. And I must say, she's, she's always been willing to, to, to stand by the Africa Center and to help the Africa Center and support the work that we do. And uh, we really appreciate you for making time to come this evening. Thank you very much.